Greetings, everyone. I've come to the conclusion that not everyone knows all that much about the Mother games. So here we are. This is Mother in eight minutes. Let's start with Earthbound Zero, Mother One. The game starts with our main character, Nin Ten, getting randomly attacked by a number of objects around the house, like dolls and lamps. Having put them all down, he finds inside one of the dolls a small music box that plays a tune. His father then calls and informs him that it was a poltergeist that attacked. That odd things have been happening lately, and that this would be a perfect opportunity for Nin Ten to go out exploring the world and exploring his psychic powers. He goes about town doing a number of odd deeds until he eventually comes upon an odd magical rock that upon checking takes him to an odd dream world called Magicant. He meets with the Queen of Magicant who tells him to explore the world and collect all of the tunes. A lot happens on this adventure to collect the tunes, but once he's found them all, he returns back to the Queen who tells Ninten to sing the entire song. He does and finds that this queen is the spirit of his grandmother, or great-grandmother, or something of the sort. George and Maria, Nintendo's grandparents, were abducted by aliens sometime in the past, and while in their custody took care of a small alien named Gigwe that was exceedingly powerful. However, George ended up leaving the alien race at one point with the secrets of PSI taking them back to Earth, the alien race then wanting to destroy George for doing as such. Yegwe not being terribly fond of him either for essentially turning his back on everything he had done. Yegwe has returned to Earth now to destroy the human race for stealing the secrets of the PSI, and it's up to Ninten to stop him. They get into a fight, and Yegwe appears to be unbeatable. However, Ninten starts singing the song that was taught to him by Maria. Maria sung this song to Gigwe while raising him, only to find that Gigwe could not stand the sound of the song. As Ninten sung it, Gigwe convulsed in pain, eventually causing him so much that he left, retreating, vowing revenge upon Ninten. And thus ends Earthbound Zero. Some years later, Earthbound was released. Mother 2. Ness, the main character, is woken up at night by a meteor impact. He goes off to investigate, only to be annoyed the entire way by his fair-weather friend, Pokey. From the meteor comes an alien insect that tells Ness he's going to save the world. Shortly after, they're confronted by a Starman Jr. sent by Gygus, the Universal Destroyer. But Buzz Buzz makes quick work of it. Bud is quickly put down by a disgruntled housewife. Ness learns from Buzz Buzz on In His Dying Breaths that he is to collect the eight melodies which will unite the Earth's power with his own. He must also find his three friends, and together they can stop Gygus. So Ness goes off on a quest to visit the eight power spots and collect the eight melodies. Along the way, he saves a girl named Paula, who joins him. A boy genius named Jeff saves them at one point. They save the race of the head-like Mr. Saturns. Prince Pooh from Dalam joins you to help save the universe from Gygus. Pokey returns to get in your way again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Having, found, having finally found all eight power spots, Ness is whisked away to Magicant, the area within his own mind. He works his way to the center where he fights the evil part of his own brain, Ness's nightmare. On defeating that, his power unites with that of the Earth, and he's told by himself to go back to Saturn Valley, where there's a device that can take him to fight Gygus himself. However, this device does not allow organic material to go through it, so they're all turned into machines. 
In reaching Gygus, they find that Pokey is now Gygus's right-hand man. The devil's machine is turned off to show just how horrifying Gygus actually is. And in one of the most epic battles in any RPG, you defeat Gygus by praying. Every time you pray, one of the people that you've met along the way in the game gives you their strength doing damage to Gygus until finally, with the help of even the player himself, Gygus is defeated. As Gygus goes down, Pokey slips away, running off to another time. With the war over, your machines are battered and bruised, but your spirits do make it back to your own bodies, and everything's hunky-dory. Now, there's a bit of controversy about the connection between Earthbound and Earthbound Zero, and there is no official connection. I will say, Gyegue and Gygus both have the exact same name in Japanese, so if there is a connection, those two are the same creature. It's thought that once Gigwe lost to Ninten, he left, eventually becoming Gygus. Ness could possibly be Ninten's descendant, or maybe even Ninten himself. There's no known connection. However, there is a much more solid connection with Mother 3. Remember how Pokey slipped off to another era? He did, and he built up his own army. This being some time far in the future, and possibly in another dimension, Nessa's not around to stop Pokey, so the task falls to Crybaby Lucas. I'm not kidding, that's actually his nickname. Lucas eventually faces off with Pokey, now translated as Porky, though in the end Porky's own stupidity is what defeats him, not Lucas. And then there's a needlessly traumatic, sad battle at the end and something about pulling needles out of the planet that act as some kind of MacGuffin. So there's all the Mother games! It's not fairly obvious I'm not nearly as fond of Mother 3 as I am of Earthbound, largely because, it's, it, largely because it lost its light-hearted, whimsical feel that Earthbound had. The characters are cartoony, and there's some absurdities along the way, but overall it's a very... overall it's a rather elaborate, sad story that really seems offsetting with the environment. That's unimportant, though. Now that you know plenty about Earthbound, I'm just going to keep the I'm going to keep the explanations to a minimum. Until next time, everyone.